what is going on guys right uh kurds exotics here hitting you with the new video so sorry for a bit of a long time for uploading just trying to get figure out my um computer program so i've been having video issues i know the other day i posted that a video will be uploaded but for some reason the um the new program i was using wouldn't get rid of a blue line and i feel like uploading that so and i didn't feel like purchasing the full package of the um editing software so if there's anyone out there that knows an editing software that actually really works really good let me know comment down below please that'd be amazingly great but today's exciting news is if you can't tell one of the babies looks, looks kind of smushed still waiting on this other one well we get finally got a um, little leo leopard gecko hatched out which is exciting that happened on the 13th of this month Thinking it was gonna happen a little, like later, I was estimating about like middle of this month it be we would have something hatched out. Um, I've been taking the egg almost every other day, just checking on it, see if there's any sign of life. There, it seems like there is a sign of life. It's just having a hard time popping out. So I'm, I'm thinking I might have to cut it open. I don't know yet. I got I gotta do a little research, make sure it's okay, but. But, even though I don't, it hasn't eaten its mealworms yet. Check him out. It's actually pretty cool. He's a mix between, I think, a Harley Quinn and a, I think the morph is a Harley Quinn and a, I know the other one, it's the common one. A uh, common le uh, leopard gecko. And I, this is the mama. And that is the dad. Just because my coloration and also other shit, because that's who I don't think it is. I think that's who I think it is. I want to get them both back in enclosure on uh, UVB and UVA. Uh, right now, I have one of the venomous in there because I had to separate them because one of them tried to eat each other. So, but I'm um, still, I'm gonna st still be trying to get them in enclosure because. I got a hold of Venom Proof, Venom Proof Cages. Link them down below somewhere for the Facebook and everything. Um, they are people that uh, make um, Venom Proof Cages and non Venom Proof Cages. And they're literally apparently like Fort Knox. And it's a hard time for any reptile to get out of it. So I'm going to order like one of them and I'm gonna have it, get a three tier one. Because they have the option for it. And, um, yeah. So, we got some baby Leos. And then we're going to also talk about, um, one of the, both the rear fangs. Uh, I'm not going to pull out one because the one's in shed right now. And then I got the other one in here. And I can talk a little more about them. But we already know they're from South Africa, Central Africa. Um, they're quick moving snakes. Um, I originally got three of them, and one of them did get out, um, we found the other one, and I'm not too thrilled and happy about it, where I found it, and we only have two now, so, yeah, I'm not gonna get into uh, what happened to that, but I'm not happy, um, because A, it was a gift, and B, it was something really cool. And I'm actually kind of working with Venomous now. Not completely working with Venomous yet, but working on it. Um, So, it's going to be a lot of clean out, which I do have an apprentice now. So, I, you will have seen him. He'll probably look familiar to some people. But, um, no, it's... I finally have an apprentice, so I have more time to do things, upload, um... Get things set up. There's my steps tool. Okay, so can't think know about anything venomous. You always want to make sure it you know your venom because um a lot of a lot of common things are uh, slit eyes. That's not always the case, but because of you know, black mambas, these guys, um a couple other reptiles and snakes, 
um, don't have slip eyes, but they have oval eyes. And the most dangerous one is actually a black mamba. Black mambas have an oval eye. So, that where that's where misconception comes in. Uh, the only one, to my knowledge, is the coral snake. And that, the only way you really, really, reason why, or a good way to really identify it, and this is a hard one that identified most, um, I even have a hard time identifying it myself, I'm still learning about it, um, they actually have a, um, like a certain color pattern, because I think it's, if it me if red and black meet, it's dangerous, and then yellow and black, it means it's safe, because there's two type of, um, to, um, it has another relative, but it's, I think it's a different species, but it looks exactly like it, that a lot of people get it wrong because they look at that snake, oh, it's poisonous, but then they go to the other snake, oh, it looks fine. No, you gotta, it comes down to the coloration and knowing the pattern. And I'm still learning about it, so it's, it's still a difficult task trying to figure out, um, for me to understand that all uh, that pattern, so the coral snake, black mamba, both very highly da dangerous, venomous. You're not, you can't even own a co uh, coral snake, I don't think, just because of the how fast striking and how dangerous they are. Um, it was no one wants to keep them because I don't think there's any known venom or uh, anti venom for them. I believe there is. It's just you need to be quick on it and make sure you get on top of it right away and yeah so but well, um i see him right here or her So we haven't put game names to these guys yet. We're still trying to handle them and everything. Get them used to it. But no. So the rear rear fang venomous. So key to that thing to know is right behind their eye, like right back here, is right where that fang oh that venomous fang is. So to us it's not dangerous. To other animals or rodents. It is. Um, what really, what really happens is they end up having um, like a reaction to the point where they're stunned, and um, when once they're stunned, it's almost a end game kind of thing because they're completely paralyzed. They're um, they can't really move at all. If you can't, ooh, hi. But no, once once they bite down and get their those fangs in, it's almost impossible to start moving around. And I believe it's called neurotoxin, is what that venom is. I could be wrong again. Um, but there's two types of venoms that are really dangerous. Neurotoxin pretty much stops your, um, paralyzes your body, stops your heart, um, stuff like that. But if it's like a mild case, it only will paralyze you. It won't do serious harm. And, yeah. So, yeah. Um, but no, if any of you guys know any, like, programs that are good for uploading, let me know, because I don't really like uploading for my phone. I want to actually start making clips on nails and whatnot, and I can't really do that on my phone. I, there's a couple programs I've been shown and offered and whatnot. I don't, I don't want to do that no more, so, um, but no, stay tuned, like, subscribe. All that fun stuff. I'll probably I'll push out another video today at some point. Um, with my um little protege I, I plan to have. Um, me and him might do a video. I don't know yet. 
I gotta talk to the the boss. I gotta talk to the fiance. If, um, if she just wants me to focus on cleaning today, um, uh, because we got some more cleaning to do, me and him. So, yeah, we're gonna do some fun stuff. All right. So, anyways, like, subscribe, please hit that notification bell, and most of all, please, please, please share with your friends. Greatly help out, help me out. Especially with what I just lost from the last channel, Rights Exotics. The reason why I changed the name is because I couldn't recover it. Which sucks. Because Google was giving me the runaround and... So, please stay tuned for more videos. And as always, stay wild.